man, it's been great. Uh, you know, just been here, you know, for a few years now and to learn from the guys that I've learned from and, you know, still learning from, uh, you know, guys like Kendall, uh, guys like Ben, um, you know, even going far back, you know, to, to Stefan and Anthony, you know, I remember, you know, coming on recruit visits, seeing guys like that and the traits that them guys had. And, um, you know, I've been taking on those same traits and, you know, I feel like that's been, you know, uh, for one of the reasons why I've been having, you know, one of the springs that I've been having, which I feel like has been a great spring as well. Do you feel like you kind of pay your dues and you're ready to just kind of break out and take a starting position? Um, you know, most definitely. I uh, feel like, you know, I've, uh, you know, waited my turn and been patient, you know, just been chopping away. Um, and, you know, when the time is right, you know, it's going to be right. And if that's this spring and this summer, uh, and, and this season and it's this season, if it's next season and it's next, but, you know, uh, I'm just in a position that when my, my number is called, I'm definitely going to be ready. What positions are you primarily working at and, and which one are you taking the most reps? Um, working both Mike and Will, um, you know, splitting the reps, you know, both. Which one are you more comfortable with? Um, I mean, I'm comfortable with both, uh, you know, if, Preferably, you know, I like Will, um, but, you know, I can definitely play both. At, will, at the Will position, what asset do you bring to that position when you walk in that and step in those shoes that you think is an, uh, uh, that you contribute to uh, making the gains with the team on defense? Um, I mean, uh, I can rush. Um, I can definitely play in space. You know, I can cover. Um, you know, I, I can bring, you know, all of those, you know, things, uh, which we already have at the table, you know, uh, just something else, you know, that I can bring. What's kept you, because um, everybody they come in, they want to play the very first year. What's kept you focused to stay, you know, positive and keep you going as you try to get out there now and start being a regular contributor? Uh, number one, number one guy's been Dorian O'Day. Just to, uh, I mean, my actually my, my very first high school game. Uh, I played against Dorian O'Daniel his senior year. So that's how far our relationship goes back. And uh, now I've kept up with Dorian, you know, his entire career. And, you know, to see him come in kind of in the same role, uh, you know, being a big-time guy, you know, from, from back home. And, um, for things not to go the way he wanted to go, you know, at first. And then to see him pan out and the type of year he had this year, uh, that's been the motivation. He stayed in my ear. Um, you know, a lot. Still talk to him, you know, to this day right now. And, uh, you know, he's just been a guy that, you know, has kept me sane, definitely. Uh, kept me on the right track. Never let me lose focus. Just told me, you know, just keep working. You know, my time is coming. When, you, you know, did uh, did it surprise you at all that you had to learn so much and you had to be patient and take your time until you learned everything? Um, I wouldn't say it, would, it, it surprised me. You know, I definitely knew I was going to have to learn. Uh, how much I was going to have to learn and how much I, I didn't know, uh, that was more so what surprised me, you know. Uh, coming from, you know, IMG and, you know, being one of the, you know, top guys out of high school, you know, I felt like I knew a lot of ball. But to get on this side and see how much of it that I didn't know, that was more of the, you know, the surprising thing, like, wow, I still have this much to learn. And I know Coach v, Coach v puts a lot of pressure on you guys because you're his group and all. What's, what's it like playing for him and, and why is it so hard with his system, especially with the linebackers, to get it down? Um... Playing, playing with him is a game day every day. Um, and, you know, saying that the games are much easier than the practices because of the stress that he puts on, puts on us in practice is definitely, it, it, it amounts to none. And, you know, um, I wouldn't really say that it's, it's, it's so much of harder. It's just the type of learning that it takes. Um, most guys are not, are not used to. Um, the, the things that we have to learn and the schemes and, you know, everything that you have to learn in, in a matter of one play, um, nobody ever coming to this program, you know, at that position has ever, you know, had to learn it. What's the best piece of advice that Dorian gave you? Um, to just look back on his journey, you know, um, to definitely, you know, think about him. I, it was at our banquet this year, you know, um, I won, like, Future Impact Play Award or something like that, and, uh, he was there and he sent me, you know, like a long text and was just saying, you know, I remember, you know, that was me the year I won a future impact player, you know, and then that next year, you know, I, was, I won the 12th man award and the year after that, I was a defensive MVP. And, um, you know, he just, every every chance he gets, um, just even after pro day, even after pro day, you know, he talked to me and, you know, he's always just saying, uh, your time is coming, stay, stay the track, stay the course, and uh, one day, you know, you'll be where I'm at, if not better. You've kind of been a role player this past year, but whenever we see the, the Clemson football vlogs, your, your face, you're always front and center. How have you kind of become that, that spokesman for the football team? Um, I, feel, I feel like it's natural. A lot of people tell me, you know, I'm natural in front of cameras. Uh, I can do this and I can do that, you know, when it comes to the cameras. And, 
Uh, they've they've picked up on it, and that's you know that they took their role. What you doing for your birthday, man? I got a game tonight. You know what I'm saying? Emir game. Emir, how much you going for? <laughs> Ten turnovers. <laughs> that about it. <laughs> Coach Sweeney, I remember back there in your freshman year, so that you kind of were that leader during power hour for some of those younger guys. Is that something that, that comes naturally to you? Most definitely. Uh, I've been a natural born leader, you know, all my life. Um, I just want the guys around me, no matter what kind of situation I'm in, no matter what's the predicament. I want the guys around me, you know, to to be, you know, I want to bring them with me as far as I go, and um, you know, that's one of the things you know I hop on a lot.